Jack Knife is saying, what are your thoughts on Sahih Muslim? Uh, and then he gives a citation. So I, I looked it up. Oh, you did? And wow. the actual hadith is quite long and oh. kind of nonsensical. But it's, wait, <laughs> where was this? It's so annoying to read a hadith because it's like, Every five seconds, <laughs> peace be upon him. Allah's apostle, like, fucking, like, may be pleased. His Allah's messenger, blah blah blah. Like, you have to read between the lines of like who he's actually freaking talking about. It's so annoying. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> Like, let me just read this one yeah. sentence to give you, like, this is so annoying. Uh, Jabir bin Abdullah, Allah be pleased with them, reported Abu, ba Abu Bakr, Allah be pleased with him, came and sought to see Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him. <laughs> like, when they're trying to say, this guy said that Abu Bakr wanted to see Muhammad. Like... <laughs> 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 I was the, if you look at the hadith, the thing is like a full paragraph, and I swear, like half of it is just these honorifics. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> what this hadith is actually saying is basically about how Muhammad's father-in-laws, Abu Bakr and Umar, um, amused him. They wanted to make him laugh because he saw him sitting around his wives looking sad. They came to visit him. He was sitting around his wives. They looked sad. And so he st they started slapping their daughters to, like, get a rise out of him. Like, for annoying Muhammad. So oh. Abu Bakr, like, went and slapped Aisha. And then Umar went and slapped um, Hafsa for annoying the prophet. And then the Muhammad like laughed and then refused to see his wife, his wives for like 29 days and then came back and had a verse that came down. Wait, the, the verse came, that was about the adultery thing, right? Like the accusation of like the 20, Muhammad not saying Aisha for 29 days and then coming back and seeing him because the verse came down to talk about his, to her, her innocent her innocence like you know aisha was accused of adultery that's and not was... oh what was that's not what this one is about though that's not or maybe in a greater context it is but that's not what it seems like i i mean it couldn't have happened twice Muhammad, like <laughs> why not okay, so i don't okay no like there was only one verse that came down in the quran that was about aisha this this did not happen two times okay no so no i didn't say be... that the verse was about said, Aisha. Oh, you just said a verse came down. After he refused to see her for like a verse about a Aisha? Month. No, just that's not what it says, just a verse. Okay, I don't know if this is about the same story, but let's forget about it. But Muhammad you're saying Muhammad was laughing because two of his wives, her their fathers came in and they slapped them and Muhammad was laughing about the fact that their wives were being beaten, slapped by their fathers. Something like that. I'm reading it and it's a little bit hard to parse out. So Omar said, I would like to say something that which would make the prof Muhammad laugh. So he said, Muhammad, I wish you had seen the treatment meted out to the daughter of Khadija when he asked me when you asked me for some money. I got up and slapped her on the neck. Muhammad laughed and said, they are around me, meaning his wives, as you see, asking for extra money. Abu Bakr then went and got up and went to Aisha, slapped her on the neck, and Umar stood before Hafsa and slapped her, saying, you ask Muhammad that which he does not possess. They said, by Allah, we do not ask Muhammad for anything he does not possess. Then he withdrew from them for a month or about 29 days. Then this verse was revealed to him, prophet, say to thy wives, dot, 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 for a mighty reward. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that full verse actually is. Then first he went to Aisha and said, I want to propound something to you, Aisha, but wish no hasty reply before you consult your parents. She said, Muhammad, what is that? 
he recited to her the verse whereupon she said, is it about you that I should consult my parents? Nay, I choose Allah, his messenger, and the last abode, but I ask you not to tell any of your wives what I have said. He replied, none of them will ask me without my informing her. God did not send me to be harsh or cause harm, but he sent me to teach and make things easy. Wait, okay. So Hafsa is Omar's daughter. And yes. Aisha is Abu Bakr. Aisha is uh, Abu Bakr's daughter. Okay, so Abu Bakr is the first caliph. Omar is the second caliph, and both of them had daughters that were married to Muhammad, right? Yes. 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 By the way, this was a custom thing, you know, back then. Apparently, during Muhammad's time, people just like, "Oh, we're so buddy buddy. Here, have my daughter." Like, "Oh, I love you so much too. Here, you have my daughter." Right? So people were just like. Daughters were just like gifted around like left and right as a way to like, it wasn't about all, the, you know, it was more about men liking each other enough to give each other the, like it was more, it, the bond, the, the, the relationship that was the issue when you married a lot of these uh, women or girls, um, the relationship that was being, that mattered at that time was between two men, right? It was a bond between two men that was resulting in the marriage of a man and a woman. It wasn't about the love that you had with the woman. It was about we, we love each other so much as men that I, this is my gift to you and this is your gift to me. You know what I mean? This like, is like... <laughs> <laughs> this is homoeroticism. <laughs> no, it's not. Proxy yeah, but, homoeroticism. Yeah, so the, the, the consent of the daughter is not like an issue here. It's just like, you know... I mean, this is actually not about just Muhammad. Like throughout history, marriage was about yeah a bond between families, right? A bond between two groups of people or two powerful men or something like that, right? Um, anyways, but I didn't. That was a long hadith. Was the gist of it that Abu Bakr and Omar were both slapping their own daughters because they were annoying Muhammad for money? Was that the gist of it? That's what I understood. Yeah. For annoying him. Okay, and Muhammad was laughing, and Muhammad. Got That's what. No, get... that was he was sad, and that was the plan to get him to laugh. Like, oh, like I don't oh. want my prophet to be sad. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> and and Muhammad got the got them to slap their own daughters uh, by telling them a story about how he got happy what and like how how he was laughing about someone else being slapped before he didn't Khadija. get them to do it i think they like laughed they, about it sounded like he, they laughed about it, another another story and they're like you right. like that story let me show you <laughs> <laughs> i think i think abu Bakr and omar just by by how much muhammad was laughing at that story got the idea that he seems to just love it when women get slapped right <laughs> and so we might as well just please him by slapping our own daughter and like if that's how if that is if that is our way into muhammad's heart we just will just slap our daughters in front of him and it worked they were like oh my god it's working so <laughs> <laughs> anytime you want a favor with muhammad just bring your daughter and just slap your daughter in front. oh bye guys um youtube we're not talking about violence like we're not in, and we are talking about Islam. We're not endorsing. This is just stories that is in Islam. We are not in favor of slapping anybody. We're just describing what Islamic hadith um, is teaching, and we're against all of these. This is horrible. We're making fun of it. We're making like we're attacking. We're trying to show everybody how ridiculous this is. This is not views that we endorse ourselves. So if this gets a strike for promoting violence against women, I just wanted to make it clear that we're highlighting. Problematic beliefs by others, and this is not our views. Okay, just so, um, yeah. Anyways, Vince is here. Sorry, guys. I know, I know. Oh, hey, wait, no. Let me just address this before before I address it. Um, I know every time I say this, people are like, "Why do you say this, Armin?" It's obvious. It's because we, sometimes we get a strike for saying things because the algorithm picks it up, and if we clarify it when we appeal the strike, it helps that we have this in context to show to a mm -hmm. human moderator what we were actually saying. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. 
because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.